SMT Nation, we back. Nation T-Mobile just dropped this news on us. They're telling us everything that they're doing to prepare their network for the big game. And they did quite a bit. And they've been working on Vegas for a while. And, you know, it, it's it's been it's been tested. The T-Mobile network has been pushed to the limits. Uh, you guys know Carlos S. Tech has been testing the networks forever. And nobody has a pulse on the Vegas networking situation like he does. So we've watched a lot of those things play out. But they've been doing a lot. They've offered permanent solutions. Looks like they might be doing some temporary stuff for the big game. But they told us all about it in this post. Let's go through the elements. Let's see what they've done so far. Maybe we could speculate if it's enough. We'll see, obviously, on Super Bowl Sunday when that happens. But let's take a look at those elements. Uh, the post from the T-Mobile newsroom, I'll provide that for you guys. It'll be down in the description. Ways to support us. You guys can like and share this video. And also, if you want to support us directly, you can buy us a coffee, become a member, or even a Patreon supporter. Get all types of perks and benefits. Appreciate that for those considerations. All right, let's take a look. What has T-Mobile been doing for the thousands and thousands and millions of visitors that Vegas gets uh, so frequently? All right, so Allegiant Stadium will be the home of the big game. Uh, what are we, uh, about a week and a half away from the big game? So what you're going to start to see is more and more people coming into town next week for the festivities you're going to have uh press you're going to have you know nfl press you're going to have news press visitors who are going to turn this into a huge you know vacation you know spending several days so networks are going to get pushed according to t-mobile they uh are, are really souping up vegas and their sports venue okay so peak download speeds up to 1.2 gigabits per second 10x faster than before peak upload speeds to a staggering 200 megabits per second now look that that might be good for t-mobile and that's good for the customers there there is a another carrier who does things a little bit bigger uh i suppose if that's how you want to look at it uh but it definitely true here you know you had the vegas grand prix you know just a few months ago we saw how that played out t-mobile was serviceable for most of it from what we could tell based on carlos's testing uh, AT&T was the letdown, right? And Verizon was very good as well. So uh, they've got solutions. Let's take a look at them. 62 IDAS sectors inside the stadium with three sectors covering the field, covering the entire stadium with ultra capacity 5G. So is that a lot, 62 IDAS? I mean, I, th I think that covers everything within the stadium. The question on those IDAS is going to be what are the frequencies on there? Uh, there's no way they could do it simply you know, just with N41 and, and those standard skinny channels, uh, they, they're, they're going to have to do more. I hope there's a lot of millimeter wave on there. Uh, seven ODAS sectors servicing areas just outside the stadium for better coverage at celebrations happening around the stadium. Now, what they're going to do with those ODAS is they're trying to pull as many users off the area macros from, you know, that heavy usage on those, those other, you know, tower sites. So hopefully that ends up being effective again. I hope there's some millimeter wave on those ODAS, and then they should just be fine. Uh, millimeter wave enhancements both inside and outside the stadium, so fans on the T-Mobile network can quickly update their social feeds. Okay, so if they if they do indeed have the millimeter wave, as they're saying, I think those DAS systems should hold up nicely. You just have to have more frequencies, you have to have more bandwidth, and that's how you do it. Some additional locations that got temporary enhancements, the fountains at the Bellagio, Mandalay Bay Parking Garage uh, for the tailgaters over at the stadium. Wynn Parking Garage, again, for more action around the sphere. Uh, we know that they do have, they are on the indoor desk at the sphere as well, which is great. And then Brooklyn Bowl Enhancements to up the network experience at the NFL House Hospitality Zone. Okay, so, you know, they mentioned a couple other things here with respect to the upgrades that happened recently. Harry Reid International Airport got millimeter wave, Cosmopolitan, and what what is that? Fontana Blue, Fontana Blow. <laughs> Inside both locations, uh, they got upgrades there. Seventeen more small cells added to the city. Okay, so here here's the vibes I'm getting from these upgrades. I think those upgrades might be good enough. I think they might be able to hold up because. They mentioned all the permanent solution, the DAS systems, the IDAS, the ODAS, all that seems permanent, which is great. 
And then they mentioned some small cells that they've been supporting the network. And of course, that offloads a lot of the usage from the macros onto those small cells. And they mentioned millimeter wave. I think this is the best version of the T-Mobile network that they could do within their budget, honestly. Um, could they use more? Sure. I, I mean, in a perfect world, they would spend another $500 million and double up the capacity, add more ODAS, add more IDAS, add more millimeter wave sectors, you know, it, but I think, I think they might be good enough. I, I think there's going to be very few situations for T-Mobile where it completely fails, uh, which has happened on them in the past. I'm more concerned about AT&T. AT&T seems to rely on a lot of temporary solutions. Even T-Mobile appears to be stepping up with permanent solutions plus the temporary solutions. And I saw some millimeter wave mentioned in there. Uh, I will not hold T-Mobile to the Verizon standard. I refuse to do that. Verizon is Verizon. They are the NFL partner. We know what they do. They do this times 100. They do this times 1,000. So I'm not holding T-Mobile to that standard. It's not fair. They just That's not what they do, right? But I, I am encouraged by this, and I think T-Mobile will hold up for the big game. They ain't going to be getting multi-gig speed in the middle of the game like Verizon will, but just, Verizon just does it differently. Uh, they're the gold standard for things like this. But I, I do think T-Mobile is going to hold up. I am worried about AT&T personally. We'll see how it goes. Carlos is on it. I'm sure he's going to have coverage and we'll be watching the content on his channel. Subscribe to him, Carlos S. Tech on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Thanks for watching. Comment down below what you think of these upgrades, how you think T-Mobile is going to do. Um, do you think they'll hold up or do you think they're going to choke? Sound off in the comment section below. Go the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.